And uh, continuing on with the technical uh, controls for access control. And, uh, well, uh, another area that is its own domain, and that is encryption. And uh, we, you know, have cryptography as, as a domain, and, and we'll be uh, talking about the details in that. And there's a lot of details. And encryption is, is not just one thing. It is uh, the whole uh, ball of wax, you know, particularly uh, nowadays with so many uh, aspects of encryption using the uh, asymmetric or public key encryption uh, and the, the infrastructure that needs to be in place to support that. Um, it, it is uh, an amazing technology, but it does require all the pieces to be in place, all the, the bits, um, all the uh, components, uh, and yes, it, you know, it is an infrastructure that, that has to be complete in order to provide the complete protection. And uh, in, in so many cases, you see somebody who is pushing the technology and, and saying that they are using the technology and unfortunately not having all the parts uh, fully involved and implemented as they should be. Implementation is absolutely key. And so we need to look at all the various aspects of encryption um, when we are going to use it as a control. And uh, that uh, does depend on, on what you are going to be using it for. Are you going uh, to use it for file encryption, where you have much more control over the situation and over the um, way that you are using it and the uh, ability to, for example, control keys. You can use symmetric encryption. You can keep the keys uh, safe, locked up, protected. And, um, you know, you have a, a very simple situation, therefore, file encryption. Um, and, you know, as long as you can successfully manage those keys, secure those keys, uh, you're, you know, you've got a pretty safe situation. Uh, you can use that um, for uh, protection of, of materials, um, of information that needs to be kept confidential, um, needs to be controlled in, in terms of access, and then you're, you know, basically what you need to do is, is manage access to the keys, and, and you're okay. Um, you can use it for uh, securing your backups. Um, you know, as, as long, you know, this is, this is static information uh, to a certain extent. And, uh, you know, we can, we can manage that, manage access to the keys. Then you are, you know, you have basically access control. And uh, you can make the uh, availability of the, the files more widely available because you are protecting the access by managing the keys. Um, now, uh, that is, uh, you know, one aspect. Then we get into, you know, specialized access, such as um, controlling access to passwords. And, and these days, uh, there are a, a lot of people who say, you know, we should be choosing strong and complicated and even random passwords and uh, using password control tools, password management tools, in order to protect the access to those uh, passwords and, and therefore control the access to um, whatever uh, system that we are protecting with our, our 
uh, password access. Um, you know, and all well and good. Um, in a sense, uh, we are using that technology to get back to the idea of uh, the single sign-on type uh, systems that we have talked about in the past. But, uh, you know, just make sure that the password manager that you are uh, using or intend to use, intend to implement, is fully effective with regard to the systems where you need to manage those those passwords. Um, and of course, uh, the areas of transmission, network uh, communications, well, communications of, you know, all different types and, and protecting the uh, materials in, in transmission. And there we have slightly more complicated situations, but again, you know, if, if we successfully implement public key infrastructure, we can go a long way to securing those areas, those uh, tools, those needs and requirements as well.